so recording okay, we have just started our recording for the class and uh, uh, please consider yourself as if you are in your classroom so that you can focus and the class can run uh, successfully all right and this is a very crucial time for all of you this is a very crucial time for all of you because we are uh, looking at your scores the work that you have done etc etc so here Ms. we go. Uh, yeah. Ms. can I be excused to get my RMB? Uh, no problems, you can get it and join back. Please get your RMB. Okay. So I have a tip. Very good. I so today's class, we are going to focus on grammar topics. All right. We are going to focus on the grammar topics. And I'm going to deal with two topics today. First of all, <clears throat> direct quotations and how the quotations are identified in the sentences. Why do we use it? And when do we use it? All right. And the second one is going to be contraction because both of these topics we have covered in our story, Harriet Tubman. All right. Mohammed, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, that's great. Ahmed Daban, Turki, and uh, Abdul Aziz, are they here or no? Yes. Yes, they're all muted, their mics, and uh, remove their cameras. All right, all right. No worries. Uh, we will keep a track of people who are joining in. Yeah. Okay, guys, today we are going to talk about dialogues. Why are we talking about dialogues? Because in the past two sessions, we read a story of Harriet, right? right? Harriet Tubman. And uh, during our reading and during the explanation, we talked about dialogues because there were many places in which uh, the quotation marks were used. All right. And today we are going to integrate the quotation marks and dialogues and contractions through our grammar class. We are going to re uh, refer to some of the grammar uh, pages as well. So to begin with, what is dialogue? All of you know that dialogue is a con um, the words the, um, <coughs> uh, what what are the characters are saying absolutely what are the characters saying what we talk between or among us that is our conversation it's a form of dialogue where do you find dialogues mostly where do you find them Uh, in the middle of sentences? You find in the middle of a story or you find in dramas and plays, right? Quotation marks are used to identify dialogues in written work. All right. We use quotation marks. There is, when we begin the conversation, the original words of the speaker, and there is a specific way, the way they are placed very close to the beginning when you open it and then after the punctuation mark when you close it i am going to show them to you in the following slides the, 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 um, yes another way to describe what uh, what's happening in the story but in the first person view uh, absolutely yes you're right every person character should have his or her own voice we have spoken about it when Harriet Tubman, she started to pray and she wanted to escape from the plantation. So it was her own voice. It was her own dialogue. So everything was placed in, although the story was in third person point of view. However, in between, there was a shift from third person to first person point of view. Okay, we will move to the next slide. And look at this. 
this is Harry Tubman, right? Can you use, can you notice the use of direct quotation? Yes. 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 This is the quote by her. Uh, Abdul Aziz, can you read that? Yes. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you, you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars, to change the world. By? By Harriet Tubman. Tubman. By Harriet Tubman. This is a lesson, this is the anchor text that we did in the last two sessions. So today, this is the quote from her. And it's a very profound statement that she made. Anybody can explain it to me? Every great dream with a dreamer, always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. So can you explain what does it mean? I think it's about human rights. Uh, uh, okay, you think that? Yeah. Okay, Turkey, every yes. great dream begins with a dreamer. What does it mean? Uh, every <coughs> every good dream have to be with the dreamer. Uh, okay. Uh, you see, a person, a dreamer, right, who dreams can only chase his or her dreams. Yes or no? If you don't have dreams, or if you don't have goals, if you don't have passion for anything, can you chase something like that? No, you cannot. No. Yes. So always remember you have within you. Can you see these highlighted words in yellow? These are the key words here. All right. These are the key words which have a deeper meaning. And you should not just try and... Uh, you know, interpret the quotation on the surface level. You have to go deep within, you have to read between the lines to be able to understand what the author is trying to say. So it means that you have strength within you, you know, you have the patience, you have the passion, you have the love for something to reach for the stars to change the world. So it's all about taking the first step. Have you heard that quote? That a journey of thousand miles begins with a single step, right? Yes. Yes. So if you want to go for something, you have to take the first step. You may hesitate, but you may be fearful. You may be, uh, you know, intimidated, but you have to start from somewhere. So this is a quote from Harriet Tubman, which summarizes her character and it's very inspirational as well. So that is why since these are her original words, you can see the quote in the beginning next to E, capital E, there is a quote which is open, right? And then it's closed here after the full stop. All right, we will go further to the next slide after. Now you have your, uh, do you have your R&B with you guys? Do you I have my, yeah. Yes, you have your yes. Thank you very much. Can you see the page number on the screen? Which page number is given? 307. 307. Yes, 307. Please take, them, take it out. Page number 307. And we are going to connect it to the grammar. And side by side, you continue to do with me. Yes, thank you, Turkey. I can see that. Thank you. Can we date our work? What's the date today? Uh, 10th. 10th of May, yes. Please write it down. What is left to finish that school? All the books I have seen, all the books are with the children. Anyhow, uh, Emma, if you don't have a book, you have a notebook or a page, you can continue to take down notes. Okay, so here we go. Just look at the reference box, guys. I don't want you uh, 
to go fast so that we can discuss and you understand. Okay. Okay. This one, a direct quotation shows the exact words that someone says. Direct quotations are set off by quotation marks. This we have already seen. Look at this example. Who is reading it? Muhammad, are you reading it? The example here? I want. I want to go. To, I want to go to the park. I said. Lance said, "You are my best friend." Yes. Thank you. These are the two examples in the reference box. Look at the way quotation marks are placed. You know, you should not put them too high. There should not be much space between the first word, the letter, and the quotation mark. So it is. This is how it is put. I want to go to the park. Then first you put comma and then close the quotes, I said. Some of you still write I in uh, uh, lowercase. Please remember I is a pronoun, right? Possessive pronoun and you should never ever uh, use it as lowercase, Hello. even if in between, right? I said, there is another participant, we will uh, just admit uh, someone quickly. Salim is joining. Wow, Salim. Salim. Salim is joining oh. us. That's wonderful. What? And yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Welcome, Salim. Oh, okay. No, he's not connected to the audio. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Let's continue. Miss, I can, I can only, I can only see myself and Ahmed Nabhan and Muhammad only. Aywa, nafsi. The same as Miss. Even. You should, cannot even you, see the names. On, you should turn on your cameras if uh, yeah. not uh, shown on video person. If you don't have R and B, uh, oh, now I can see. Now I can see. You can see now. I can see Turkey. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, but I can miss before. I, I didn't see the names. Okay. Uh, I think that's not very important at the moment. Let's continue with our class. Yes, brother? It is very, very important. It's very important. Yeah. I know we want to yeah. see uh, our friends. That's okay. But at the moment, let's continue. Okay. So here, Muhammad read two examples. Please pay attention to the comma next to park. Can you see? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Now you remember this, that first we put the comma and then we close the quotation. Then we close the quotation, right? Now, uh, Salim is here. Salim, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Salim, oh. can, you read, can you read the instruction, please? Activity, add quotation. Activity, add the quotation mark. The to the following sentence. Yes, what we are doing, we are adding the quotation marks. So now, uh, quotation marks when we add, let's look at the first. We have a lot, we have a lot of studying to do, said Liz. Uh, one second, please. Liz. All right. Oh Ahmed Naban, I don't want you to be sending messages. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Because it disturbs the class and messages keep popping up. Please don't do that. Okay. Okay. So annoying. Okay. Add quotation marks to the following sentences. Let's look at the first example, guys. We have a lot of studying to do. Who said this? Who said yes. this? said Liz. Okay. So this sentence, we have a lot of studying to do. There is already a comma. It's said by Liz. So these are his original words and that should be placed within the quotes, within the quotation marks. How do we put it? So put Miss, uh, there are two quotation marks um, before we and two quotation marks after the comma. Absolutely. Please do that, all of you. Please do it. Start quotation marks like this, the way we have done it in the example. Look at this. In the example, right? Next to I, there is a quotation mark. So you can quotation mark here, we, and then close it after the, after the comma. 
Turki, have you understood? Yes. Yes. Okay, read the second sentence now. Yes, I can see that. Let, let's plan to fly down in, in March, said Umayran. Uh, <coughs> Turki, it's not plan, it's plan. Right? Plan. Yeah, let's plan to fly down in March, said Miran. Now, let's quote, put the quotes. I, I want to see yeah. uh, how you have done it. Can I see? Oh. Mohammed, can I see you? Yeah. Okay. Mohammed uh, Abdullah. Mohammed. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Thank you very much. No, where, where is no, the, um, I know Turkey is showing it to me. Turkey, thank you. Yes. Mister, I finish. Mohammed Nasir, can you read the third sentence, please? Must look. You can go to the water park, I suggest you. Okay, then where should I place the direct quotation? How do we start it? Where? Before we and after park. After park, but after the comma. Absolutely correct. Very good. Very good. Do it, please. Number four will be read by Abdul Aziz. Um, I think that's great. A great idea. Replace Kate. Replace? Where is replace? Replied Kate. Okay. I think that's a great idea, replied Kate. Uh, Abdul Aziz, where do we put the comma, please? From I to idea. Very good. From we begin top of I the I yes, and we close yeah. after the comma idea and we close it. Now, number five, Ahmed Daban, can you read this, please? She said, he said, there is a water slide that is 10 stories high. All right. So, ball, ball. Uh, oh where, do we, where do we put the comma? Uh, said. Huh? Where? Oh, there, there, there. Uh, yes, you begin the comma After there. on there, and then yeah. where? And, until high. Until high, but after the full stop, okay? After the full stop. Full stop should not be out of the quotes. It should be within the quotes. All right. Now you've understood. I shouted. That sounds scary. So from that to, to where? Yes. Yes. Yes, Madhu. Yes, Ahmed. Yes, Ahmed. They're freezing. Sorry? Oh, Muhammad Bell is freezing. No, I'm uh, Excuse me. Ahmed Abed Lee is not. Uh, let's say. Ahmed uh, Daban. Uh, oh, yeah, I am moving. Just pay attention to you and stop chatting among yourself. Okay. It's not grade six that room where I can fix your AC if he's freezing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. No, he means. He's gone out. He's gone out. Oh, I don't know. Miss Hamid is the picture. Don't worry. Internet, I don't know. You can take care of it. It's not internet. I'm moving her. Miss, let's continue. Aywa, alhain, tama. Tama. Ahmed, Ahmed Naban. Yes, miss. Please stop talking. I shouted that sounds scary but fun. Now you see which... Which punctuation mark is this after fun? Can anyone tell me? Which one is this? Uh, exclamation mark. It's an exclamation mark. All right. So you will put exclamation mark within the commas, the direct quotations. Please put quotation mark outside the exclamation mark. Now, seventh and eighth, quickly finish it. You can go if you get an A in science, my mom said. I'm so excited to fly on a plane, I said. We begin okay. to come up from you and end on after all. I'm done. You're done? Thank you very much. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. I finished. 
All right. Okay, a quick yes. recap. Yes, tell me. Um, tell me, please. This question six. I didn't understand. Which question six? Question six, I shouted. What did I shout? That sounds scary, but fun. So, but I after, after the commas. You start comma from top of T, that, and end it after the exclamation mark. It's the same thing. The sentence is exclamatory sentence. That's it. Oh. Have you done it? Yes. Yes, that, from that, until fun. Yes. Okay. All right. Miss? Yes, tell me please. Number one is from we to do. Yes, you yeah, have to remember what did the speaker say. You don't have to wait for me to tell you where to put. The idea is, look at the words of the speaker. The, the sentence spoken by the speaker should be within the quotes. All right, brother? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now look at the screen, everyone. Quotation marks are used around direct quotations, someone's speech or writing repeated exactly word for word. This is what we just now did. Look at the example here. Helen asked, can I borrow your car? Can you see where the question mark is? Turkey, can you see where? Uh, yeah. 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 And where are the quotation marks? Inside or outside the quotation marks? Outside. 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 You have to remember this, please. That whenever you're writing a dialogue, your punctuation that finishes your sentence inside the quotation marks. Okay, quotation marks are not used around indirect quotations. Now, I want to tell you here, what is indirect quotation? Now you see here, can I borrow your car, right? If I ask Turkey, can I borrow your car, all right? And Muhammad asked Turkey, what did Miss ask? So how will you reply? Turkey asked or Miss Madhu asked to borrow my car, right? I am not changing the words of the speaker, but I am responding to the question indirectly. So these are the speaker's words spoken by the other person, all right? So in this, we do not use the direct quotations. Can you see this example here? Indirect quotation. Helen asked to borrow my car. What was the direct speech here? Uh, Emma the man read. Helen asked. Can I? Can I borrow your car? All right, so how did this go? Helen asked to borrow my car. Some my car. Original words of the speaker. All right, so this is how we use. We will move on to the next one. Okay, this is the next page, guys. And this should be page number... 309. Can you see? 309. Huh? 309. This is 309. Yes, this is 309. All right. Five is a mom, Maktab. Mohammed? Me, Messi is telling long time oh. you didn't write. Me too. I just wrote yesterday. Okay. Uh, Mother, can you read this reference box, please? Very carefully and clearly. And rest of you, please pay attention. Dialogue. Yes. Is the written conversation between characters in a story. Use quotation marks around a character's exact word words. Specify specify who is speaking and how use a comma to set of set of exp expressions like she said from the quotation 
itself. When a speaker changes, start a new paragraph. Okay, wait. Please wait here. Now let's look at this. Look at this one. Two friends, comma, who are the two friends? Mark and Kim, comma, walked through the park. Now the conversation begins in this paragraph. Please note, I want a dog. He said, a lady walking her dog passed by quickly. Dogs are difficult, a lot of responsibility, Kim suggested. I know, he said sadly, maybe I'll get a cat. Now you see, in between this short paragraph, oh. there, are, there is conversation going on between this lady and Kim, right? So look at this one, I want a dog. This is a conversation, beginning of conversation or a dialogue. That is why it is placed within the quotation marks. Yes or no? Yes. And how did we separate the, the, these words? She said, look at after the dog, there is a comma. He said, and since we finished, <sighs> we need to put a full stop. Uh, uh, Emma Daban. Yes, miss. If you're yawning so loud, Okay. You want to have a book and uh, you want to make a pleasant feel, I think... This is, this is the book. Okay. How about that? Okay, thank you. Please, you got to remember, Bete, you are in a class. Okay, let's uh, look at this activity now. Read each sentence, then write a reply using a dialogue. What is the keyword here, Muhammad? Reply. Reply. The question, and we need to reply using a dialogue. Using a dialogue. Using dialogue means that you have to reply in the speaker's voice. Now, what are we going? Where are we going? Ask. Huh. All right. Where are we going? Ask. Can uh, you become uh, Muhammad Abdullah? Can you become Lehan? And Turkey can answer this question now. Okay? Turkey can answer. What are we doing? Turkey? Yes. Okay, answer the question to uh, Muhammad Abdullah. Okay, Muhammad, read again. Where are we going? Us in Ligahan. What did you say? Turkey, answer this question. Where are we going? Any more? Just look up your answer. Anything? Yalla. To the mall. No, the incomplete sentence. In a Corona, we are going to the. <laughs> we are going to the mall. Okay, now then, how you will write it? How will you write it? This the question says are... write using a dialogue. Are... So start the are... mark. All of you start the quotation mark and write. We are. You can write anything actually. Where are we going? Let's oh get oh from Corona. <laughs> yes. So write your response within the quotes. Said to me. Oh, 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 we are going to Bakhala. Okay, what, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> Muhammad, can I see your answer, please? Me? Yes. But we are going to the playground. Miss, me, who is Muhammad? Miss. Muhammad Abdullah. Uh, Can I hear your answer, please? Um, I don't know. Going we are going to my cousin's house. I shall not be Corona. No. There is no Corona there. <coughs> okay, show it to me how you have written. The idea is not to debate. The idea is not that this is what I have written. The idea is where have you put the quotation marks? Because this is a grammar class. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we, um, uh, uh, we, quotation yeah. marks when you start the, any before we, yes, and then you put going, and then, then in the end, then in the end, after the full stop, you put another two quotation marks. Yeah, that's okay, but what's your sentence? That's what I asked. We are going to the airport, we are going to the airport, airport, yeah. all right. So we bring the quotation mark from we 
we end with a comma after the airport and then we close it okay who said that you can reply replied because here it's asked then in response you will say replied turkey or and max or turkey or muhammad or turkey or salam uh, miss yeah we put the comma before we close the yes quotation. yeah yeah okay. next one brooks turned to audrey and said comma is there okay let's listen to this new song brooks turned to mr mavan so what do we do what do we do skeletal song audrey has to reply right brooks audrey okay. yeah audrey will say let's listen to the song either audrey can say no i don't want to listen to the new song or you can say oh that's astaghfirullah yeah write it down mr ramadan yeah we cannot answer this question book okay. Uh, okay brooks turned to audrey and said let's read a book okay change it <laughs> let's read a book yeah yeah let's read a book so oh yes. that okay. i will do miss i will cross it no you write the answer first let's read a book so what would audrey reply comma begins then let's try to let's read a harry potter book <laughs> it's your first miss miss is it like this way yes tell me Yes, but okay. Yes, it's correct. Nobody can see us. Like correct. That. Correct. Yes, the first one is correct. Absolutely. The second one, you got to reply now. You will say, um, "That sounds great," said Audrey. Now you try and put your commas. What Audrey said, right? That sounds great. Uh, I put uh, quotation mark, yeah, comma, let's, yes. comma, comma, quotation mark, Audrey, Audrey agreed. Okay, okay. Right. Thank you, Fanny. Only the th uh, these three we are going to use. Uh, Come But there are no Arabic, please. Okay. Okay? Third one, do it. Third one, you can do it uh, yourself later on once the class gets over. Since you have a fair idea that how the speaker's words are put within the quotation marks, we will move to the next slide. Okay, this is a quick review. <laughs> we are not going to work on page 355 at the moment. That's your homework. Okay, we are just going to look at the description here. Tell me why a work is underlined, italicized, or in quotation marks. Now you see, these are the slanting. This is a slanting handwriting. It's italicized because it's the name of the island, island of the blue dolphin. All right. Next one is my favorite short story is The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. Right, look at the quotation marks because it's the title of the book. The way it is written, T is capital, then another tell, T is capital, then after the heart, it's a direct quotation mark. So the titles are also put in within the quotation marks. Now, this is look at this one Mary enjoyed the article, A New Royal Baby. This is the name of the article, and where was it in this? magazine time for kids so magazine name is underlined whereas the title of the article is within the quotation marks is this everybody yes yeah so besides the the idea is that how do we put and when do we put it conversation within the quotation marks the titles are in the quotation marks. You have to separate them so that they are highlighted. Look at the last one. The Beatles' Rubber Soul album has my favorite song in my life. Now, this one is only highlighted. 
but the key word is so first it's a full stop because that's the end of the sentence and then the quotes are put all right let's move on to the next one Here, this one is your homework guys please note it down page number can you please note down the page number this you will give us a quiz huh yes this is will give us a quiz yes i'm going to give you the quiz that's why i'm uh, reading this to you at the moment all right so now look at this page number writing titles quotation marks can you move on to page 355 Oh, it's 355. Yes, it's a very big jump. Yes, it's a very big jump because all the pages of quotation marks I have combined it. All right. What does combined mean? Yeah, yeah. less work. Miss, you will give us like a quiz. You will give us a quiz about this one. Yes, I'm going to give you like a quiz. It will be on Edmodo. Okay. So, okay. so why do you solve it? Yes, today I'm going to give it to you. Today, so I want to solve this page. I'll solve the. What is the due date, Miss? Excuse me. After tomorrow. Due date will be tomorrow morning. Oh God! All right. Oh God! And before that, I am going to put all of these references for you so that you can do these things. All right. Rules are given here. See, capitalize the first word. and the last word and each important word in the title this is sum up whatever i have taught you in the previous slide underline the title of books magazines newspapers movies or albums all right this is the given here then enclose titles of reports poems chapters or articles within the quotes like this what you see on the screen look at the example the star spangled banner or songs for america all right alligator habitats in ranger rick these are the titles this is the magazine so this is underline this is the name of the article so this one is the quotes is it clear to you yes yes, yes. right now this uh, is very easy this is just to scaffold somebody is making noise not me No, it's me. Oh my God! And I can see that. Who? Oh. Uh, have to read this. Somebody is rubbing or uh, scraping on the table again. Not me. Not me. My table is glass. Yes. Oh, Even me. Mohammad Nasser, yeah. are you here? <laughs> yes. No, no. He's not. Allah Mubarak. Emma Daban, just be quiet. Yeah, it's not me. Okay. Bad. 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 Bad.
both the topics are important the assigned quiz will be graded is it clear to us ajna abdul aziz shunigan okay merci okay can you thank you miss je je les petits Hey, miss, miss, miss Abdul Aziz saying bad words. Hey, don't, don't worry, Abdul Aziz quiz will be disqualified if he continues to use. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.